models, and LORAs. Let's understand what these are in stable diffusion, how they are used and managed in FUCUS, what are weights, and how do models and LORAs differ from each other. Let's start with an example. Open a new browser tab and navigate to Civit AI. Once you're on the site, take a moment to scroll down. Notice the various sections, including images, models, contests, and top creators. This community-driven platform is a treasure trove of resources for anyone working with Stable Diffusion, regardless of the UI they use. Now, click on the Models section at the top of the page. You'll be greeted by lots of cards, each representing a model or checkpoint. So, what exactly is a model? Simply put, a model or checkpoint is a pre-trained stable diffusion file that's been fine-tuned on a specific set of images with a distinct style. You'll find models for anime, comic books, realistic art, fantasy landscapes, and many more. When we talk about a fantasy model or fantasy checkpoint, we refer to a stable diffusion file that has undergone training on a substantial dataset of fantasy images. When selecting a model, it's crucial to keep track of the stable diffusion version you're utilizing. Here, we're using Stable Diffusion Excel. To do so, navigate to the filters and scroll down to the base model section where you can select SDXL 1.0. The models will then reload, presenting you with a selection of Stable Diffusion XL models tailored to various styles. You can also narrow down your options by applying filters based on the year to view the most popular models. For this exercise, I'll be using DreamShaper XL. However, feel free to choose any model that catches your interest. Upon clicking on your desired model, you'll be directed to the model page. Here, you can view example images provided by the model's creator at the top of the page. As you scroll down, you'll find a description and a comment section for the model and a collection of artwork generated using that specific model. By adjusting the filters, you can also see which artworks have received the most reactions. To download the model, scroll back up and click the download button. The model file will begin downloading. Once the download is complete, copy the file and navigate to your Focus folder, located in the installation directory. Within the Focus folder, you'll find a folder named Models, and inside that, a folder called Checkpoints. Paste the downloaded model into the Checkpoints folder. You can see that I've already placed my model here. Now, let's return to the Focus window. Click on Advanced, then select Model from the drop-down menu. In the Base Model section, you can now choose your newly added model. If it doesn't appear immediately, click Reload to refresh the list. Once you've selected the model, you can input any prompt and hit Generate. The model may take some time to load, but soon enough, you'll have your artwork. To demonstrate the model's capabilities, let's use a more descriptive prompt, a cyborg cat from the future. After hitting generate, you'll see the images load, revealing a stunning result. Let's try adding a girl in the prompt. Let's keep the prompt same and change the model to anime. We'll see the difference due to different models. You see the difference and the power of models? It's not a cyborg but it's futuristic. Hope you understood how to use model. Feel free to experiment with different models. Let's understand. Loras. A Laura 
is not the same as a standard model. While models are utilized to create art within particular niche, such as realism or anime, lauras are employed to generate a specific character or style for the art. To put it simply, a lora functions like a Photoshop effect, adding a particular concept or character to the generated image. Loras are trained to create stable diffusion around a specific concept or character, so if you need a Laura for Emma Watson, you would find one that has been fully trained using images of her character. The resulting file is much smaller than a full model, but it's important to note that it doesn't possess the same capabilities as a full model or checkpoint. To download your Laura, follow these steps. Visit Civit AI's website. Navigate to the Models section. Ensure that only SDXL is selected in the version category. Click on the filter button and you will be presented with a list of SDXL LoRa models related to various concepts. Let's explore the LoRa for this glass sculpture. When we click on it, we're taken to the LoRa's page where we can find various details about the LoRa with download option and example images. However, our focus is on the trigger words, which will be essential for our prompt. To download the LoRa, simply click the download button and you'll notice that its size is significantly smaller compared to our models. Once downloaded, navigate to your focus directory, then to the models folder, and finally to the LoRa's folder. Copy and paste the downloaded LoRa file into this folder. You may find that your directory is empty or contains a default LoRa file, but that's okay. Now reload Focus, refresh the page, and head to the model section. If you don't see your LoRa listed, don't worry just click refresh all files at the bottom and it will update the files from your directory. You should now see your LoRa file in the drop-down menu. Select it, and we're ready to craft a prompt using the two trigger words. These words keywords transparent and translucent act as a signal, informing the LoRa when to take control and influence the generated art. I should also set the weight to 0.6, as recommended in the model description, which highlights the importance of reading the descriptions for each model or LoRa. Our prompt will be transparent and translucent glass sculpture of a girl. There it is. You don't have to write the prompt from scratch for such images. I can try generating an image of a cat, but I'll still keep the transparent and translucent keywords, as they're the trigger words that generates glass-like character. Weights play a crucial role so it's essential to adjust them to achieve the desired effect. If I set the weight to high and generate an image, you'll see that it turns out to be nonsensical. By the way, auras can also be used to generate characters, not just objects like glass sculptures. Let's head back to the Laura page and keep the filters the same to retrieve the SDXL Laura list. Now, let's choose a LoRa model how about Disney princesses? This particular LoRa allows us to generate any Disney princess. As per the description, princess name will be the trigger word in this LoRa. Download the file as usual and place it in your Focus Model Directory's LoRa folder. After refreshing the files, I'll select the Princess Excel Laura and use the character's name in the prompt. To get a close up shot, I'll set the weight to around 0.6. Let's add a comma separated keyword prompt. Also, select a few styles. Let's hit Generate and see the result.
The power of Laura is amazing. It helped generating a beautiful image here. To demonstrate the difference, I'll open the generated image separately and remove the selected Laura and hit generate again. This time, we get a realistic image of a girl who doesn't resemble Elsa at all. The difference between these two images is striking, showcasing the ability of Laura's to blend images to match our needs. We can also combine Laura's. If I select the Princess Laura and the Glass Laura, and then modify the prompt to include both trigger words, I should be able to generate a glass sculpture of Elsa. Hmm, not what I expected. This is where weights play a crucial role, and we'll need to adjust them carefully to achieve the desired outcome. The priority was given to the Laura, with the higher weight. Here, Princess XL, Laura has a higher weight than Glass Effect Laura. If I increase the weight of Glass Laura and decrease the Princess weight, I should get a better result. Try to keep the total weight, one, including all Lauras. In this example, the weight is 0.2, plus 0.8 is 1. We got the result as expected. Try yourself. Let us know the best combination you found. Now, you know how to use Laura. Combine Laura and adjust the weights for the needed results. Let me know if the video was helpful.